my darlings, how are you doing today? For this final look of the 13 days of Halloween, I've got this war-riddled warlock that I threw together last minute because I wanted to challenge myself to see what I could put together in 20 minutes, and this is what happened. So if you'd like to see how I created this grungy, kind of an androgynous warlock, then stay tuned and let's do this. All right, I am starting with clean base. I'm gonna do my foundation and concealer off camera. I'll have that listed in the description box below. But first I'm taking the Danessa Merrick's Beauty Waterproof Cream Pigment Palette in primary, and I'm taking the gray shade and doing some harsh contour lines. Now this Warlock is androgynous, as I said, so I'm doing some very angular contours, bringing it all the, bringing the contours all the way into my mouth or the center of the face to make it look more angular and fun. So get something like this. Now I'm going to take the Kush brow pencil in Pilsner and first brush my brow hairs down before tracing the top edge of my brows to kind of define them a little bit more and then going in and filling them in and brushing them through and taking the Milk Makeup Kush Brow in Grind, which is a dark brown brow gel that's tinted and it's got fibers in it. So I'm just filling in my brow and then I'm gonna do the other brow off camera, ending up with something like this. Oh yeah. Now I'm gonna apply these scars that I cast with third degree silicone. Um, pay no attention to the one in the middle of my forehead. I'll get rid of that in a second. But now I'm gonna take the Bite Beauty Lip Pencil in 008 and trace along the edges of the scar before taking a tiny pointed pencil brush and blend those edges out slightly so that they're a little bit diffused but still kind of noticeable. This acts as like an inflammatory color, I guess. But now for the other scars, since I'm using Rigid Collodion, I'm taking and just mapping out where I'm going to be putting the scars with that same pencil. Now I'm taking the Rigid Collodion, uh, surprise, and I'm just tracing all over where I put the pencil lines down. So Rigid Collodion works as a constrictor, so it will constrict your skin to give it a puckered in effect, and it takes a couple coats to get a deep scar, but oh well. So I'm gonna fix removing the scar off my forehead off camera. And I figured, what the hey, let's put some scars up there. So I'm repeating the process that I did with the other scars. I ended up using another Bite Beauty pencil because I grabbed the wrong one. So that one that I first used was 050. It's a very, very pretty muted shade. I like it. It's good. It's very good. But I'm just repeating the sheps. The sheps. I'm repeating the steps with a Rigid Collodion. Before taking a new to me product, this is the Skin Illustrator Glazing Gels. They are a water-based, um, almost like a watercolor type product that you can apply with your finger or brush. So this is the first time applying it. it gives a very realistic under the skin appearance because it is so sheer. And so yeah, I will be playing with this a little bit more in the future, but uh, I just wanted to give some bruising, some dark under eye circles or just under eye coloration, that sort of thing. Before taking Tainted Tissue, this is a European Body Art Encore uh, special effects color. It's alcohol activated. I'm just going over my scar because keloid scars are rather like pink and puffy. So I just, just put some pink puffy stuff on there. Now I'm taking the Encore color in N1 and basically trying to make my skin look dry and flaky. So I started with the lips and then I'm going on the high points of my face to make it look like my skin needs some moisture. For the eyes, I'm taking the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in whatever black and just smudging that haphazardly over my lash line and lower lash line before throwing on this weird feather schmock thing. Or like a, I don't know what you'd call it. Tell me what it's called in the description box below because I forget. Now I'm taking the other Artist Color Pencil in Completely Sepia, which is a very pink inflamed color and it's eye safe so I'm gonna put that in my waterline to make my eyes look a little bit more irritated before taking the Ubame mascara from Milk Makeup just to kind of give my lashes a little bit of definition but no volume so yeah this is the finished look of the war riddled warlord I'll have everything listed in the description box below and also, I'll have some fun, fun little bits, including why I took off the scar in the middle of my forehead over on my blog at www.jchaos.com. But, yeah! So, I hope you guys like this and my other 13 Days of Halloween looks. I will have everything kind of linked below and in the info cards and all that other fun stuff. But if you're not already following me on Instagram, you should follow me on Instagram. I am at 
OJ Chaos. There's a lot of fun stuff that happens over there, like random behind the scenes stuff, and if you want to know kind of what's going on with me, I update that more frequently than I do YouTube, so you should check me out and follow me and give me a little heart emoji if you come from YouTube. But that is the finished look. Again, this look was very haphazardly thrown together just to see what I could come up with. But in the meantime, know that I think you are awesome and I love you guys so, 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 so much. Don't forget to stay positive and be awesome. Cause you, you're awesome. Yes, you are. You're awesome. Bye.